now we are going to uh, discuss about the efficiency of LST or CRD. This is similar to the efficiency of LST or RBD. So uh, let us uh, define the mean square errors in both LST and CRD. Let S e square small s e square be the mean sum of squares of error in LST. Let S e dash square be the mean sum of squares of error in CRD. As we are comparing CRD and RBD, let us specify that SE square is the mean MSC in LST and S dash E square is the MSC in CRD. Then the efficiency of LST over CRD is given by E is equal to as I said you that uh, you will get the mean square error of CRD in the numerator mean square error of the LST in the denominator so this will be S E dash square by S E square now let us find out these two separately so likewise the previous one LST over RBD to compare those two we should have equal number of factors applying the same logic that is applying the uniformity of trials uniformity of trials the error degree now we need to check the error degrees of freedom in LST error degrees of freedom will be in LST will be Likewise, the previous one, you will add m minus 1 uh, into m minus 2 plus m minus 1, which we did for RBD. We to, to find out these two, first of all, you should find out the degrees of freedom in LST, degrees of freedom in CRD. Degrees of uh, freedom in LST, how do you calculate? Originally, we have degrees of freedom in LST as m minus 1 into m minus 2. You will add another factor's treatment. By simplifying this, you will get m minus 1 into m minus 2 plus 1 which is nothing but m means this is same as the previous one using the uniform returns the average degrees of freedom is lst is nothing but m minus 1 whole square now you need to find out the degrees of freedom in crd so how many factors will be there in crd i think no local control is there so uh, there in the previous case yeah, you have considered rows as column rows as blocks and columns as blocks here you don't have rows and columns both should be added to the error degrees of freedom since in crd what are the sources of variation you have treatments error and total means you have only two you have so those rows and columns can be added to the degrees of freedom of error so if we conduct same experiment to CRD both rows comma columns degrees of freedom will be added to will be added to the error degrees of freedom so what will be the degrees of freedom of error in CRD what is the existing degrees of freedom this one m minus 1 whole square you need to add both rows degrees of freedom plus columns degrees of freedom this is the error existing error degrees of freedom both rows and columns should be added so this can be written as m minus 1 whole square plus 2 m minus 1 from these two if you take out m minus 1 as a common one you will write m minus 1 plus 2 which is nothing but m minus 1 into m plus 1 which is nothing but m square minus 1 so this is nothing but uh, error degrees of freedom in crd so you have identified the degrees of freedom in lst degrees of freedom in crd now to find out the efficiency you should find out the mean sum of squares in crd and mean sum of squares in lst so let us see what are those two as we did in the previous one these are nothing but error degrees of freedom so to get the mean sum of squares you should multiply degrees of freedom with the corresponding error, uh, sum of squares so to get the sum of squares in crd how much you got so to find out the sum of squares 
due to error in CRD. What is the equation you have? Uh, how much you got the error degrees of freedom there? M you have a, a minus 1 whole square plus a minus 1 plus a minus 1. I think these are nothing but error sum of squares. So you should write a minus 1 whole square into a c square plus a minus 1 into these are nothing but degrees of freedom of rows. The second one is nothing but degrees of freedom of columns. In the previous one uh, we have only Mm, these two rows in the first case and columns here both are added at a stretch. So how much you will get? This is nothing but sum of squares due to error in CRD. So the mean sum of squares will be mean sum of squares in CRD will be you need to divide this with the respect to degrees of freedom m minus 1 whole square into SC square plus m minus 1 into SR square plus m minus 1 into sc square how much you got error degrees of freedom in crd you got that as m square minus 1 so here you have m minus 1 m minus 1 m minus 1 this can be written as m plus 1 into m minus 1 so if you take out m minus 1 common in the numerator you'll get sc square plus sr square here you have m minus 1 into sc square plus sr square plus sc square by m plus 1 into m minus 1 you will get that as m minus 1 into sc square plus sr square plus sc square by m plus 1 this is nothing but um, error sum of squares in LST uh, CRD which we are writing as s dash e square how do you define that e, e is equal to s dash e square by sc square how much you got this term m minus 1 into sc square plus sr square plus sc square plus m minus 1 into m plus 1 into se square this one so uh, uh, here also you will get on simplification if you take out uh, uh, here this can be written. if you, you are going to prove that lst is sufficient for this let us we can write i think we can write this in this way a minus 2 plus 1 into sc square for simplification i am writing because these two should get cancelled so i wrote this a minus 1 as a minus 2 plus 1 plus sr square plus sc square by m plus 1 into sc square now you divide this can be split as m plus 1 into sc square minus 2 sc square plus sr square plus sc square by m plus 1 sc square so if you divide these one you'll get 1 plus all these are nothing but a positive term which you'll get as 1 plus sr square plus sc square minus 2 sc square by m plus 1 into sc square so which is nothing but greater than 1 so you got e greater than 1 we can conclude that lst is more efficient than crt as e is greater than 1. Is it okay girls? Okay, thank you.